Good evening. The tests that you see tonight are conducted in a specialised high safety environment and are supervised by highly trained professionals. On no account should you attempt to reproduce anything you see in this video. First, we have the target, Mr Fred Astaire, in this case representing threats to the free world and a would-be assailant. And if you will follow me, you will see what we have got ready for tonight. The Mark I self-defence suit. It comprises of several highly explosive ordnances. First, chest-mounted detachable explosives. These things. Secondly, a wrist-mounted rocket launcher. Thirdly, an arm-mounted medium-range projectile weapon. And lastly, a short-range self-defence firearm. Are we ready? We will commence when ready. Okay. The first part of this suit is these little devices. These serve as a distraction to the enemy, as demonstrated. Now that the enemy is disorientated, we move on to the long-range weapon. This is not particularly accurate. However, it may still prove useful. <laughs> the enemy is at least distracted by the smoke here. Now we'll move on to the repeater weapon. Ah, the light's gone out. Has anyone got a lighter? There's one on the table, thank you. Sorry about this, minor malfunction. Okay, you could just... Got it? Okay, let's go. Right, do you want to move back? Okay. <coughs> the medium range repeater which I'll have to go a bit closer for. Oh, oh God. Ah, I'm missing slightly that way. Woo. That would have hit my body. <laughs> Finally, we have the short-range anti-personnel weapon. I need another light, please. You can just light the end of this. It's got a long fuse. Okay. Whoa, I'm setting my glove on fire. This is your last resort to spray the enemy. With fire! Die, Fred Astaire! <laughs> the smoke also provides a convenient cover if you need to make a quick exit. And there we go. As you can see, there is nothing left of your enemy and you are largely still intact. Whew. As you can see, its effectiveness has been demonstrated. Thank you for watching. Join us next time.